You know Red King. You've got more experience with Red King. Again, another salty older veteran. Um, his last two races uh, that you've won with him, uh, 11 furlongs, 40. I mean, this, this horse seems to run any distance. What's his ideal trip in the two races most recently, the experience that you've had, you would feel? Well, the, the Capistrano was my first experience down to the hill and it was amazing. Uh, it's a, one of the best courses I've ever ridden in my career, so. Uh, That's saying something. Yes. Um, but long distance to heal to him helps a lot. Mm -hmm. I wish it was a two miles, but okay. unfortunately it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's an old horse. And he's very tricky because in the morning he can really pull. He can be different about the afternoon. And I knew this experience when I went to Keelan three weeks ago and I worked him down, down there. And it was not the same horse. I mean, you would not believe that this horse can make a, a mile and a half. Um, it's, it's like you say, he's a veteran, he knows what he's doing. Uh, between the two trips, obviously, I will prefer the, the second one because we beat an icon like United. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, gives you the opportunity to go to the Breeders' Cup. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely, I, 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 I had to take that decision uh, on, the, on the back stretch because the pace went too slow. And I knew that if we was going for kicking, he is not the kind of worse than he has a turn of foot. So I think that decision works well. And obviously, British Cup is, uh, is different. I mean, there are, it's a small field, but it's going to be a solid race, solid horses, a lot of respect for everybody, United included. I mean, uh, obviously, I don't see myself as a favorite. I see myself as, a, as a, not even an outsider, but the horse which I think he can run, uh, he can run his race and he will, uh, he will show up for sure.